I recently completed the live series collections in MLB The Show 24, unlocking 99 overall Babe Ruth, and I ended up doing this no money spent, so I just wanted to give you guys some tips that helped me along the way to completing these collections without having to spend any money on the game. And I was able to complete these collections without actually pulling any 90 plus overall live series card. So that along with being no money spent made things a little trickier, um, but it is very doable and we're going to go over why that is in the video. So as we know, the 90 plus overall cards are really the majority of the cost when it comes to the live series collection. Um, and if we look at the trends just of most of these 90 plus overall cards, I would say things have kind of just stayed pretty steady. Um, maybe have gone down slightly on these 90 plus overall cards just over time. Um, and it is hard to predict what's actually going to happen to all the prices of all these cards. So don't take my word for it. But I think there is probably a good chance that these cards will start to creep back up probably once we get very close to season two because I think a bunch of people are gonna you know who haven't completed the live series collection will probably try to rush to try to complete this uh you know collection get the 99 babe ruth before season two when everyone's lineup resets and we're only going to be able to use season two cards but I kind of think until that point, we could see these cards kind of just continue to slowly go down over time. Also, another reason why they might continue to slowly go down over time is because once people start to max out the XP reward path and get this, there's this 90 plus live series pack that's here in the bonus reward section. So if people are pulling that a decent amount, we could see the prices on those cards start to go down um, until we might see another bump at the end of the season. We'll see about that. Uh, but also, before I go into how I got all of my stubs, I do want to touch on one of the probably most important tips I would give that I know some of you do. Maybe not all of you do, though. And that is when you guys need to buy any of these live series cards to help finish off any of the team collections, you absolutely need to be putting in buy orders instead of just clicking on the buy now option. So like for Burns, for example, if we put in a buy order of, you know, 2,155 uh, 2, stubs, um, you know, that should go through in this case. Um, our order would be on top. When someone sells it, it's going to be ours. If that's going to, you know, you compare that to straight up buying this card for 2420 that's about a 300 difference, 300 stub difference just on this one card. Now think about all of the cards that go into the collection, you know, diamonds, gold, silvers, whatever it is. That is a lot of stubs. Now, you know, you're obviously going to be saving thousands of stubs by doing this, but at the same time, you're also going to be saving a ton of time by doing this, right? Because if we, let's say we save a total of 75,000 stubs by putting in orders instead of clicking the buy now option. Think about how much time 75,000 stubs would be for, would be take for you guys to grind right so just if you you know put that into perspective 75,000 stubs that you know it's kind of just a random number I pulled out but it would be something around that probably you know that is a lot of time a lot of stubs that you could save so it doesn't take a genius to realize that we need a lot of stubs to actually complete the collection so now I want to go over some good ways to be making all of the stubs needed to actually go through and complete the live series collection. Now, the first thing I want to bring up, and I actually have a separate video on this, so if you want to learn more about flipping, which is what I'm going to talk about now uh, quickly, um, go ahead and check out that video. But this is how I got a large portion of my stubs, and I've mainly been focusing on equipment items. Um, if you are no money spent, I think it's essential to learn how to flip and to at least flip some. You don't have to become obsessive about flipping, you know, like uh, sometimes I can get, but... Uh, I think it's just necessary. If you want to complete them fairly quickly, I would definitely flip cards. Um, equipment is what I had my eye on, what I flipped the most. So keep an eye on that. Uh, I would recommend doing that. Also, the BR program. If you guys uh, come into the BR program, grind out BR, start to get these gold cards, start to get the diamond cards that are in the reward path. This is, you know, get them and then basically sell them. This is a lot of stubs sitting right here. You know, you're going to get... 12 of these cards and they're all going for you know a decent chunk so that's a good amount of stubs there um and you know the sooner you get to this the sooner you get these cards sell them you're going to make more stubs um also it has a good amount of packs in the program as well so that's more stubs that's more cards that you're actually going to add into the collection to help you with progress but next, I want to shift our focus to a pack method, a couple pack methods, actually. And this is in mini seasons. I actually have separate videos on this, so if you want to check that out, 
go ahead and do that. But the first one here in classic mode is uh, here. It's just one goal you can focus on, which is tally 50 total bases while playing on veteran difficulty or higher. So just play on veteran, get 50 total bases, um, and you get five to show packs. It's repeatable. So you get 50. You can restart the season, get another five packs after you complete it. Do it over and over again. You're getting five packs each time. And I would recommend being the home team, choosing a custom stadium with max elevation, short walls, so you know you're hitting home runs uh, easily, quickly, and that'll obviously progress you quicker through that goal and achieve, you know, getting those packs um, as quickly as possible. So, uh, basically, the same thing in Team Affinity Season One of Mini Seasons. It's just slightly different goals. So, like the first one right here that I want to focus on is tally 40 hits uh, with batters from Team Affinity Season One programs. 10 to show packs by doing this that is repeatable you can restart the season do it again do it again do it again do it again while you're doing that too uh tally 60 total bases with any players is repeatable and that's a ball and pack um and then there is also uh in a, another repeatable one get on base 20 times so basically you know if you're getting the 40 hits you're gonna get these other ones so that's a dozen packs basically for 40 hits which might sound like a lot of hits but if you're on a custom stadium you're going to be racking up hits. They're going to be easy to come by. It's not going to be too bad. And all of those are repeatable. So that's a really good pack method to got, help you guys obviously help, uh, you know, progress through the collection, but also get you a ton of stubs as well. Um, also, go through your inventory. Sell every single duplicate item that you have, whether it's players, you know, uh, equipment, uniforms. And uniforms is another thing that I really want you guys to focus on too. After just a couple weeks of grinding the game, I didn't realize how many stubs of uniforms I just had chilling in my inventory. You know, I had a few diamond jerseys I sold. I had a ton, like 30, 40 um, of these gold jerseys that I sold. 500 a piece at the minimum. That's quick sell price. Um, there's also these, uh, you know, other uh, minor league jerseys down here that I actually haven't really gone through and sold. I mean, I did sell most duplicates that i had uh but you know you, these all go for you know at least a minimum of 100 but if you go in and put in sell orders you're probably getting more than that you have a ton of stubs worth of jerseys in your inventory absolutely go through and sell those um you don't really need them uh you know and i highly recommend doing that uh, also other equipment that you don't need sell that off why not um also conquest hidden rewards even if you guys are not going through and you know playing the conquest games go through every single map simulate them you know just on uh just simulate them and get all the hidden rewards because this will get you a bunch of extra stubs a bunch of extra packs and all of that good stuff and it's going to have a ton of rewards for you so that you know that you wouldn't get you know if you maybe you do play conquest that's great you get the hidden rewards but if you don't definitely do that um also team affinity Team Affinity has way more packs and way more stubs in it than you would think. So especially, let's focus on Season 1, Chapter 1. So we have all of these packs in each, uh, you know, program reward path. But we also have these packs right here where it gives you four live series player from each division. And there's multiple of these packs in each division. So that's a really good, you know, um, at least start to the live series collection for some of these teams but then like i said you get all of the other packs which will lead to you know more players for the collection possibly stubs you know with duplicates maybe some good diamond pulls as well and the final thing i just want to mention is right when new br or ranked programs drop or a new event drops you can earn so many stubs by completing these you know just as quickly as you possibly can and then selling the rewards that you earn you know if you do this within the first few days that these come out this alone you know selling the cards that alone could help you afford literally one or two of the most expensive live series cards that there are in the live series collection which is just a massive help but those are most of the tips that i would give for helping you guys complete the live series collections as a no money spent player um hope you guys found this video helpful um did enjoy leave a like down below and subscribe to the channel if you did uh but that'll be it for this one i appreciate all of you guys for sticking around to the end and watching see you guys in the next video peace